a lot of criticism out there about preachers who uh, only talk about faith, right? Um, but when we see the New Testament, almost everything in the New Testament is laced with faith, right? Salvation is by faith alone. Receiving the Holy Spirit is by faith alone. Receiving healing is by faith. Uh, everything is by faith. We live by faith. We stand by faith. So everything we do is by faith, right? The law is done away with. Uh, the law really was never uh, something for us to do. It really was to show us the, the holiness of God. So now we're in the New Testament. We live by faith. We stand by faith. We, uh, we die in faith, right? So faith is extremely important. Why? Why, 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 right? That's the biggest question. Why faith? Why is God always uh, talking about faith in the New Testament? Well, the answer is simply this. If we go back to Genesis chapter 3, we see Satan come to Eve, right? And he, uh, we say that he's trying to deceive her, which he was, of course. Uh, but he says this to her in verse 2. Well, in verse 1, it says, And he said, Has God indeed said, You shall not eat of every tree of the garden? Well, he said that, right? He said, don't eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And the woman said to the serpent, we may eat from the, from the fruit of the trees of the garden, but from the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, it says, you shall not eat, nor shall you touch it, lest you die. We all know that she added to the scripture, to God's word. God's word said, don't eat of it. She added, don't touch it. Right? But God said to touch it. He told Adam to tend to it and to keep it. Right? What do those words mean? To tend to it means that he had to prune it. He had to water it. He had to make sure the garden grew. But to keep it was to guard it. So he had to tend to it. He had to guard it as well. So then in verse uh, 4, Then serpent said to the woman, You will not surely die. Now that's a direct violation of God's word. God said, they will die. For God knows in the day that you eat of it, your eyes will be open and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. So here's the issue. He's, he's telling them that God lied. What he told Eve is that God lied to you. You will not die. He's, what he's saying is, trust me. I know God. I've been around for a long time. And he's lying to you. You will not die. And it says here, he says, he knows that God knows the day that you eat of it, your eyes will be opened because now you'll see. In other words, now she'll see things. She'll see the truth or the truth will be exposed. What was Satan trying to do? He was trying to expose God. He was trying to paint God as a liar. Don't trust him. Don't have faith in him. So do you see what's going on here? And so all this is the underlying uh, implication from Satan. He is the accuser. So he is now accusing God of lying, and he's trying to convince Eve to trust Satan over God's word. It seems to be the, the story of the ages, right? Who do we believe? Do we going to believe God's report, or are we going to believe Satan's report? Are we going to believe the world's report? Are we going to believe everything else that's going on, or are we going to stick to God's Word? That's why faith is so important. Do we believe God and His Word, or do we believe Satan and his lies? Uh, there's coming a time in Revelation 17 that we see the mystery Babylon, right? The mother of harlots. She's full of blasphemies. She has a cup of blasphemies and fornication. She seduces. What does that mean? The Bible says that she sits on many waters. It literally means that there's coming a time when this satanic system, this Babylonian system that started in Babylon, is going to control people. It's going to seduce people just like he seduced Eve to, to step away from God. They're seducing people. Today's world is seducing people to stop believing in God. 
Kick him out of your schools, kick him out of your government, even kick him out of churches. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> There's a lot of churches that have kicked God out. You just look around. So we're down now to the wire. This is the end times. And God is looking for a people that would believe in him, trust in him, and have faith in him. That's why Jesus said, when the Son of Man returns, will he find faith on the earth? Faith was lost in the garden. Faith has been preached for years. we got to have faith. Otherwise, we're not going to make it. God is trusting faith. Believe God. Trust in God. By faith, everything we do, we live and move and breathe and have our being in Christ by faith. God bless you.